In this tutorial, we're going to use Python to import data, analyze that data, and then export some of the results, and also plot those as well. So let's go ahead and get right into it. If you come to the um, website and go to CHE263, this is apmonitor.com slash CHE263, and then come down to the Python, you'll see all of the source code and the data file that we're going to be working with here. It's going to be this first example, import data and analyze with NumPy. Go ahead and download that. Um, it'll download as a zip file. And if you want to save it somewhere like your desktop, then uh, you'll have the data file and you'll be able to work through this example. If you just want to skip down to the source code, you can see it right there. But we're going to go through this in a little bit more detail just so we can uh, understand all of the parts of this and explain it in a little bit more um, detail for you. Okay, so um, I have spider open right here on the on the left and I also have my data file here. If I just open that up, you can see all of the data. It's about 1200 rows, nine columns of data. The very first column is time and then I have four sensors and then some bad sensors as well. Okay, so I'm going to import that into my script and then work with it, uh, analyze this data. And uh, so go ahead and if you've downloaded this, just extract this data file, uh, you know, to your desktop or somewhere else that you can work with it. Okay, let's go ahead and start into the spider. Um, okay, I'll make this just a little bit bigger. And uh, so we have our variable explorer. We also have our help right here that we're going to use uh, to be able to see some of the things that um, we're doing in our script as we run it. The very first thing we'll need is to import NumPy as NP and then also uh, import matplotlib.pyplot as PLT. Go ahead and import those two. There's going to be two of the NumPy for importing and analyzing the data and then matplotlib for plotting. Uh, the very first thing we'll want is to use our data uh, and import that and you can do np.gen from text that's one way to do it I also like to do the uh, uh, load txt and I just do our file name uh, data file txt and then I have a delimiter um, that's going to be the comma okay so load text or either gen from text uh, those will both work and then I want to get uh, just my time vector out. Uh, so this is going to be my very first column. And uh, so if I do data uh, file and then I do all of the rows um, and then the very first column. So if you have this colon here, it just means go from the beginning to the end. Um, you could also do something like one to five or zero to five, something like that. But let's just go ahead and ex uh, extract all of those and take the first column. Okay, let's save this. Um, I'm going to save this to my desktop as well. And uh, let's see, let's call this analyze.py. Okay, if you're working with an IPython notebook, it'll save it as an IPYNB file, but it should be able to run uh, the same thing. Okay, let's go ahead and try this. And you can see here I have uh, my data file right there uh, this one's going to be a 1200 rows by nine columns and then uh, my time is going to be uh, uh, of length uh, 1200 as well so if i just want to look at the first couple time points i can go zero to five i can see that it starts with um, you know a big number uh, i want to be able to extract and you know remove that uh, very first number to have just see the time increments for example <clears throat> okay, so let's just redefine time and we'll just say that's time minus time zero. And then when I run it again, and let's say I uh, just look at time zero to five, then I can see it starts with zero and then one, three, uh, 5.8, 6.8. Okay, so you can see the times a little bit better by just subtracting off the very first time from all of the times in my vector. Now let's go ahead and load the sensors as well. I see that, um, you know, if I just look at data file and I just look at the uh, first column or the first row of that, I can see I have a couple times there, but I have some not a numbers as well. Let's just go ahead and extract out the sensors 
And so I just want to get the sensor values. Uh, and that's just going to be the data file. And I'll take all of the rows. And I'm just going to take the second through the uh, fifth column there. OK, and so that's going to be uh, 1 to 5. It's going to be time as my first column. So let me go ahead and just uh, write this out just so it, it uh, we can see this a little bit better. Here are all my time values. And then I have sensors uh, 1 through 8. Uh, but um, one, uh, 5 through 8 are bad. So I just want to get 1 uh, to 4 of those sensors. OK, so I have four sensors here that are good. And then four sensors. Um, I guess I should do this in Python form here, okay, 0, 4, and then sensors 4 to 8, okay, and those are going to be not a numbers, okay, all the way down for those. So those are the bad ones. I want to be able to reject those, you know, eliminate them from my data set. So I'm just going to have my sensors be these uh, four, okay, that's going to be columns 2 through 5. Okay, now what I need to do now is uh, maybe just print uh, sensors. Let's just look at the uh, first uh, few rows, um, first six rows of the sensors, just to make sure everything checks out. Okay, let me run it. Okay, so I can see my sensor values right there. And maybe I want to do things like uh, take an average of those sensors. Uh, okay, so for sensor one, I want to be able to take an average, maybe of just these sensors. Okay, that's going to be my average one, and then this is going to be my average two, and so on. So let's go ahead and create, uh, just do some basic uh, averaging of that. I'm going to get my averages, and that's going to be np.mean. I'm going to take the mean value of those or the average, and that's going to be uh, sensors. And I'm going to do it over the second dimension. OK, so that's going to be, uh, I think I could do axis equals uh, 1, or if I just leave that off, then it knows that's the second argument there. OK, so let's, uh, we've got the averages. Let's go ahead and run that again, and just type in here AVG. OK, so you can see the averages uh, for those. Um, we've got the averages. Uh, now, this is actually over the second dimension. So the first dimension, if I would have gone 0 here, uh, then I would have just had four values. OK, so let me uh, do that. OK, so I have these uh, four values here. That would have been what I had shown uh, here. But I'm going to do it. Um, so that would be axis equals 0. But if I did axis equals 1, it's going to take the averages of these. OK, so this is going to be the average for each time point. So if I do, um, let me just put axis in there, just make it a little bit more clear. Axis equals 1. And then it's like I get a, a new column of data. OK, so if I look at average, I can look up here, and I can see that's 1,200 in length. OK, so you can see the variables changing right up here and how big uh, they are in terms of the dimension of those variables. OK, so here is my average that I took. Uh, I just want an average at each point. I don't trust one individual sensor, so I want to take an average of all of them. OK, now I want to be able to export, uh, export all these values. So let's go ahead and export uh, something that looks like uh, time, uh, my sensors, and then we'll also do an average. OK, and we'll export it just like it came to us, kind of as column vectors, uh, where these are going to be our times, our four sensors, and then our one uh, column for average values. So to do that, uh, I'm just going to create a new variable, which is my data. And my data is going to be, uh, we're going to vertically stack these. OK, so the very first thing that I want to do, I have to put this in here as a tuple. OK, this is with the, uh, the parentheses. 
and I'll have time and then I have sensors now this is going to be a column vector sensors is going to be a column vector so I have to transpose I do the dot T and so what I'm doing is uh, you know time and average those are uh, 1200 um, uh, so there's a row vectors of 1200 size so basically I'm taking my time and those are stored as a row vector I have my sensors right here but I'm gonna put it down here as a as a um, in row form instead of column form okay so there's sensor one two three four so it's like I'm stacking layers um, uh, together vertically and then I'm also going to take my average values okay so there's average values and then what I'll do is then after I do this then I'll invert it again and get back to time sensor uh, average in column form okay so the very first step is going to be to vertically stack these as I show up in in the top one there and let me put the next one there which is going to be the average values okay and then I can take my data and say that my data transpose I'm going to transpose it again so I vertically stacked it and then transpose it again and then let's go ahead and save the text so I'll do NP save text so you have load text and then you also have save text and this is going to be export maybe export.csv or .text you know however you'd like to call it and then uh, you want to export my data and don't forget the delimiter okay you can make this a tab I like to make them commas um, okay and then if we run this we're gonna see a data file that's produced and I'm gonna come over here here's my export if you open that up with something like Excel then you'll be able to see it uh, in Excel looks like I haven't used Excel um, on this computer so let's see if this loads up and while that's loading up I'll also show it to you in um, in text file format okay so here it is in text file format and there it is in Excel okay so if you need to export it back to Excel you can do that with the save text Okay, so let's. Uh, we've done all this. Uh, I'm just going to comment out the uh, sensors one so it doesn't keep printing. And then let's generate a figure as well. And so I'm going to plot. I'm going to plot time and sensors. Let's just do the second sensor. And I'm going to make those into a uh, with a red circle. And then the next one is going to be plot time and let's do the average values as well and I'm gonna do those as blue dots okay and then if you are not in uh, spider if you're in using IDLE or something like that don't forget the show command as well I don't think you need it in this one okay there's my data plotted uh, with matplotlib and I have different uh, colors there for the different ones now you can see kind of a curious thing happening down here with the data uh, is that the uh, sensors look like they have discrete values and then there's a little period of time here where there's a little break this is in seconds maybe I want to show this in minutes instead so I just come here and take my time and divide by 60 Okay, so you can manipulate these, uh, what you're plotting there in the plot command. And then let's just make it look a little bit better with a legend, for example. Okay, so legend, you're going to have to label each one. This is going to be sensor 2. And then uh, the average. Okay, so there is the legend. And let's give it an X label. This will be time in minutes. And let's give it a Y label as well, um, values. Okay, for the legend, you can also put it in, you know, it'll try to find the best location for it. I like to do location equals best. And let's see that again. Okay, run it one more time. And it's gonna put the, put the legend down there in the bottom right-hand corner. You can see it right down there. 
and then we have our X and Y labels. So let's say we want to save this plot as well. Let's say it needs to go into a presentation. We're going to do save fig, and then you can you know do this as a JPEG or a PNG or something like that. My plot PNG, and this is going to show up in whatever directory you're running from. So there's your plot right here, showed up. Um, you know you have something that you can then embed into a presentation or on a web page or something like that. Okay, so just to review what we've done with this is we've taken a data file and um, we needed to import, first of all, these two packages, NumPy and matplotlib. We have this uh, data file that we imported with load text. You can also do gen from text. Just imported the time. Uh, I saw that it was shifted a little bit, so I just subtracted off the first time extracted the sensors, just the ones that were good. I just printed it just to make sure it was, um, you know, we just look at the first few rows. Took the average along axis, uh, the second axis, which is axis equals one. So we did that by row and then exported, uh, combined the data, saved it as a text file, and then generated a plot to look at the data.